love with you is all. We're here today uh, filming our Friday night age concern. Age concern, I've got some great things coming up in the next couple of weeks, including their Valentine's Day yeah. special. They're opening up Valentine's Day, trying to match up elderly people together. So make sure if you want to come along, you come between 10 and 4 um, on Saturday um, here in Hamley Hall Road. We'll be here, won't we? <laughs> we'll, we'll probably Close. still be here. <laughs> we'll probably still be here. I think we're going to stay overnight. Um, we've got five courses of food um, lined up, so we're going to make Singing. sure we do that, yeah. Awesome. So, um, do you want to begin? I will begin. You begin. Okay, so Peaceful Place are having a 60s and 70s night with a live band. God, that fits in for you, doesn't it? 7th of March, it does. Yeah, that's yeah. my era. Uh, £10, and it's in Rochford. Nice. Who's that for? Sorry, Peaceful, Peaceful Place. Place. Yes. So that's really good. Um, Aspirations, which is the group that um, Sabs are involved in. Um, the old mayor, she's an old mayor, Sally Carr, um, she, um, she's <laughs> fundraising, lovely. lovely. She's fundraising, um, she's had some money left over from when she was mayor, she collected for young people. She's um, doing a special um, breakfast at the Roslyn, um, and this is to award grants to young people to help them achieve their full potential. Um, so um, that's on the 6th of, Friday the 6th of March, um, in the morning at the Roslyn, and um, £10, so nice make sure you get that. Well. Yeah, nice, Roslyn breakfast. I suppose you're going for that, aren't you? Of course, yeah. of course. And after you've done that, what you need is the Active Life Time for Life programme. But it's for over 50s, so you fit in perfectly. I fit perfectly. Yeah. Um, and that's been run from the Valkyrie Health Centre, so lots of um, fun activities yeah. to keep healthy and fit, and it's an eight-week programme. Great. Um, the Volunteer Organisers Forum, Emily's running another forum and that's going to be on time banking and that will be taking place on the 19th of March at SABS. The registration form for um, the event is in the Friday email, make sure you send you that back. Lovely. Um, dementia Friends Awareness. So we're dementia friends aren't we? We've done our we training. We are, we've done our training, yeah. Which is fantastic. Yeah. So the forum are going to be running some dementia friends sessions on the 23rd and 26th of Feb at the forum. And it's learning about dementia and how you can do little things to help people with dementia. So carry inside with that, they've got um, books on prescriptions. They've got 25 books that are suitable for um, patients with dementia to read about and okay. um, dementia and how to cope with dementia. They've been specially chosen. So um, we're, uh, Sabs and my town are going along to the launch, so we'll be um, having interviews from there. We've got some from the reading industry coming along to talk about their involvement in it. So and um, that'll follow. Um, Worth going along to. Definitely. You're already a dementia friend and you get a little badge. You do. Which we haven't got on. You've not got yours on, no. Okay, uh, shall I go with Who Will Care? So, who Will Care? Who Will Care is a swap shop. So Who Will Care is an independent commission led by Sir Tom Hughes Hallett and it's looking at how you can have innovative ways of working to combat the health and social care crisis. Okay. And it's looking at how the voluntary sector could come up with really good ideas and there's going to be a swap shop, it's swapping ideas, not like multi-colour swap shop. So you can't take your claim and come back with someone yeah, else's outfit. It's been a long time ago, I don't know. Anyway. Wow. Uh, that's on the 5th of March in Basildon, so it's come along if you want to uh, share your ideas about how you can... And organisations from Southend are uh, welcome to go along. Yes, they are. Yeah. That's good to know. Um, National Express have got some funding. They've got um, uh, between two and a half, uh, two, two and a half thousand or five thousand pounds um, for groups that um, organise positive activities for young people. Um, if you want to be within a uh, five mile radius of their um, route, uh, the C2C route. Um, so I think that applies to most organisations yeah, that work in Southend. Yeah. And I've got one child and adult adult victim of sexual abuse is funding 2.8 million pot to provide support for people because of all the several um, staff oh, okay, people yeah. coming forward who are victims of sexual abuse as, as children. So this funding to help organisations support them. Good. And breaking news. Breaking news. Australia, Eurovision. We, we, we don't know where we stand with that. Um, I'm sure um, it will all follow in the future. You love what, what it. You love it Eurovision. Like, I hate you? Eurovision, it's rubbish. <laughs> but it's that, a, that's it's my love. Rigged, that's my it? Valentine's love for Eurovision. And, uh, and Australia are joining, aren't they? Is that what they're, they're saying? Yeah, they, they've, they've been able to enter for the first time. That is fantastic news. It's big, it's yeah. big, it's going to be massive. I'm hoping for Kylie. Come on, Kylie. Sally, can I wish you a happy Valentine's Day? And to you. And all our listeners. See you next week. <laughs>